Hello and welcome. This is Game Doc Gamer. Today we are unboxing the EVGA Supernova 750 G2 power supply. Uh, this power supply is very highly rated. Now, not all of the EVGA uh, power supplies are, but this G2 series 750 and up are very highly regarded. Um, some of their other mod set power supplies are just regular old uh, cheaper not as good quality ones. Now uh, this one has a 10 year warranty if you register within the first 30 days of purchase. That's a big uh, conditional uh, statement there. In fact I didn't register mine within 30 days of purchase. I have a feeling I lost that. Uh, so it drops down to three, uh, 3 year warranty which is nowhere near as good. Uh, EVG. I just didn't get to this because uh, I wanted to do this video. So other features of this uh, this power supply has uh, outstanding efficiency and performance. Uh, very good ripple suppression, among the best of any power supply. Excellent voltage regulation. It's fully modular. Has semi fanless mode. It has black cabling. It supports the C6 and C7 sleep states for the Haswell Intel Haswell uh, chips. It has very clean power. This is important. It's 90% efficient. It has 100% Japanese capacitors. Uh, it has the, uh, it's all uh, it's a single rail uh, power supply. It has no over temp protection. That's the one uh, bad maybe bad thing about the power supply. Let's look at the back of the box here and bring it in bigger text so you can read it. So looking at the back, uh, let's see, it says fully modular, stable power with very low electrical ripple and noise, provides up to 62.4 amps, 748 watts on the 12 volt rail. Um, Compliance with ERP Lot 6 2013 requirement. I don't know what that is. It complete protections uh, OCP, OVP, UVP, OPP, SCP. Um, provides up to 750 watts at 50 degrees Celsius. Uh, I believe they mean ambient temperature in the room. 80 plus gold certified efficiency, uh, ultra quiet two ball fairing 140 millimeter fan, eco intelligent thermal control feature, SLI crossfire ready, active power factor correction with PF value of 0.99, um, tight voltage regulation within 2% they say. I think it's even better than that, but DC to DC converter design. I'm not, I don't know what that means exactly. Outstanding 10 year warranty, 10%. Now again, you have to register that stupid uh, with EVGA, otherwise you uh, you don't get that within the first 30 days of purchase. Um, unless if they've changed that policy. So here's their eco. There's a plastic wrap. Maybe I'll take that off so there's not so much uh, reflection off the. Because I haven't done taking the uh, plastic off. Why don't I do that now? Okay, what do we have? I don't want to scratch it, the plastic or the uh, cardboard with the scissors if I can help it. Okay. This, even though it says EVGA brand, it's actually uh, a gold, uh, sorry, it's a Superflower. It's, it's a rebranded power supply. Superflower, I think, makes it, or I'm not sure how it exactly works. But it, it's a Superflower, made by Superflower somehow. I think EVGA just puts their uh, name on it. Okay, Eco Intelligent Thermal Control System. Okay, so RPM at uh, 
temperature descending process T4 at 45 degrees Celsius temperature while rises well I don't know what the graphic is saying exactly T max all right well let's go ahead and open that Trying to not scratch the slice the box if I can help it. So I I, I kind of think uh, if you're a you know if you're overclocking, a very good power supply is important. Um, but so many computers like a lot of people they'll get the uh, the Corsair CX because they're cheap, and this is so much better. See, that's what I try I want to avoid is tearing. There we go. Alright. I guess I have to flip it over. I, I never, I don't recommend those CX, Corsair CX. Alright, so it's upside down. I gotta flip it around. Then I need my light. Smells new. I love that smell of new electronics. So there are EVGA bag and the manual 850 or 750 G2. There are some minor differences between the G2 and or the 750 and 850. Looks like the 750s if you don't need that extra 100 watts, it seems like the 750 is a little better. Just minor differences. Okay, that's the power supply unit. Let's go into the bag here first. We have a, I guess a cables bag. Yeah, there's nothing in, in this bag at the moment. Uh, EV, EVGA does sell uh, separate sleeve kits. They have black, red, blue, and white. We get black here with the power supply, obviously. Here we have a power cable. Standard US power cable. We have a CPU cable. It's like a Molex. Six pin modular on the power supply side and with four Molex. VGA cable. This is the motherboard cable. A uh, SATA six pin on the motherboard on the power supply side. These are ties, it looks like Velcro. Velcro ties, Ziploc bag, and we have another uh, VGA. Looks like eight pin VGA, and it's got the six or eight pin connector. CPU cable, either 4 or 8 pin on the CPU side. And we have a SATA, three SATA power connectors on that. We have a, uh, it's just a uh, three and a half inch drive or, you know, the small mini connectors for the three and a half inch floppy drives or whatever it may be for some sound cards use that. Another VGA again with a uh, 
Looks like, uh, yeah, 8 pin on the PSU side, and then uh, 6 or 8 on the VGA side. This plug will uh, connect together. We have a, another SATA. Six pins on the PSU side and three SATA power connectors, and we have a uh, VGA, another VGA cable, Even, you know, for external video card, discrete video card. Now this is a uh, this is with this little adapter you can power on the power supply without having to plug it into a motherboard. So if you want to test, make sure the uh, power supply turns on. It's just got one little wire in here. See this little uh, loop, single loop. You can see that. Anyway, it just connects two pins. So you, all right, and we have uh, four Phillips screws. Connect, keeping, uh, securing the power supply in the case, pr presumably. Now we have the. Doesn't look like the manual. Yeah, it doesn't look like it doesn't pull pull it out. <laughs> That's what she said. Let's take this box out. And this is free, you get silica bag. And these double for uh, if you play uh, football, put them on your shoulders. Uh, all right, the VGA manual. Manual with a lot of information. It's like so multilingual. And the PSU itself is uh, in a uh, Velcro. Little bag here. Fully modular. 750G2. Wow. Feels pretty heavy. Some specs here on the side. It's a uh, sticker. Where's the other? Okay. Now there's some reports of these uh, stickers under the hop. Like there's one here in the middle of the underside, and people saying, "Well, it comes off after a while with the heat from the power supply." EVGA sticker. I think it, it even has a uh, a film, plastic film. I'm not sure. I feel it, but I don't. Okay, it does have a film. A sticker on top of the sticker. EVGA. And here is the. Uh, So on the back we have a motherboard, uh, what do we have here? Here's motherboard, this is probably CPU power, motherboard. Now this says CPU 1 here, it's a little hard to read the font on this texture. It's a nice texture. Okay, so this one's not labeled. But it's probably motherboard I guess, it's, yeah it's gotta be. It's just... Where's the motherboard here? Yeah. Yeah. So here we have motherboard. Same power cable. Alright, and CPU 1, VGA 1, CPU 2 it says. VGA 2. 
EGA 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, this is, by the way, it's a single rail power supply. SATA 3, SATA 2, SATA 1, and peripheral 1. And that's all on the back. Or on the inside. It's not going to be on the back. And the top of the top of the PSU is just nothing. Except serial number. It's got a serial number on there. And the back, the back of the PSU here. Kind of upside down, I guess. It has an eco mode switch here. Off. Off and on. I think it's for fan operation. Power, oh wow, that's a... That is a solid uh, rocker switch right there. Whew. Otherwise a very open ventilated back of the PSU. Alright, thanks for watching. This is Game Out Gamer. Hopefully that's enough information. I could go over some of more my more uh, information here. Uh, it, apparently, when the fan is the power supply is in use and you you have uh, you're using it like playing a game, or when the fan is going, it's 40 decibels. Uh, another competitor, yeah, I said it was a super flower, and apparently the one of the main competitors to to super flower is Seasonic, but a lot of Corsair used to have Seasonics, but uh, now Seasonic sells directly at, through their own name in retail and Amazon and uh, Micro Center, etc. Uh, so there is good uh, power competition in the market right now with power with regards to power supplies. All right, so well, thank you very much for watching. Please like the video.